we would see Roddy Piper step into a new role here. He's going to be replacing Gorilla Monsoon, at least on screen, as the president of the WBF. Uh, bringing Roddy in is always a good move. Uh, this is just nostalgia of pro wrestling, of course, during the WrestleMania season. I mean, that first WrestleMania was all about Roddy Piper. So 12 years later, WrestleMania 12, here we are, uh, or 11 years later. Um, how does that deal come together? for Roddy to be back and be in the ring. So we were going to uh, WrestleMania 12. So we ended up with the back street or back lot brawl with gold dust. The idea was one of, you know, looking at what could, you know, what could we stunt? What could we do? And I think it was actually Vince Russo who came up with the idea of what if, you know, somebody beat the shit out of O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson had recently been acquitted of, you know, well, obviously he was acquitted from murdering his wife. But um, I think that the sentiment in America and all over the world for that matter felt that maybe OJ was not all that innocent. Mm -hmm. So the feeling was a lot of people wanted to beat the shit out of OJ and looking for someone in that realm because it was Hollywood, OJ, you know, all that happened in Hollywood. Um, Maybe there was someone who could beat the shit out of OJ. And the more we talked about it, the more that that was an extremely poor taste and didn't want to do it. I had contacted Roddy about, Hey, would you do this? And he said, only if it were a shoot. I said, okay, well, probably won't, not going to do that, but uh, how you doing? Roddy and I started talking about other things and then Gorilla Monsoon's health was not the best. And we thought, well, we could use Roddy here to be a interim president and a colorful character, but have him on the TV show and a use for him every week. So maybe the original idea was we bring him in to do something with, uh, with OJ, we know he's going to wind up working with gold us, but the rumor in innuendo has always been, it was originally going to be Scott Hall that worked with gold at WrestleMania. Yeah, that was, that was the original plan. That was the original plan. Yes. We're going to talk about why that changed before we do. We should mention that before WrestleMania, we started with- shaving your head or something. What? Are you shaving your head? Like I said, I got I I got way too many like social things this Oh week. no, at the moment, no, I'm not, but I'm with you. Uh I have a bet with Eric Bischoff and somebody's probably What's the bet? Uh you you don't want to talk about it on the air. Okay. So you're shaving your head? No, he's shaving his head. Why? We made a bet and he's going to lose. How will he lose? How's anybody going to know if he actually loses if you don't share it on the air? Well, we're going to. Uh, I, you don't want to talk about it right now. We're recording. Oh, you and Eric are recording. Uh, okay, Bruce. We're, we're no, gonna, I no. That's you want to talk about AEW right now? No. Okay, so let's talk about it a little later, maybe. Okay. Uh, but there, there is a bit. I'm just, I'm trying to be helpful to you here. Like, you don't want to talk about this on the show. Okay. Yo. Know, Listen to me. Here's the reason that I even brought it up. Okay. I am in the way that the sunlight is hitting your head. Oh, every once in a while you turn and look, I'm going, is he bald? Did that that what people were talking about? Now I see it. Now I see it, but it's not as fluffy as it usually is. But Uh, yeah, see when the sun hits it over there, then it kind of looks like, oh my God, Conrad's bald. Well, listen, I might be, uh, if I lose and, uh, I think somebody's probably getting their head shaven. Uh, at, here uh, at Top Guy Weekend at the end of June, if I had to get. They're, they're not getting it shaven. That's not a word. Sh- okay, shaved. Yeah, but, but got King's English proper grammar. Come on, that, that's. I, I listen. I'm not going to sit here. Bit. I'm not going to sit here and be fucking berated by somebody who dressed like a goddamn Teletubby this morning. Who's that? You. What's a Teletubby? I mean, you're wearing a Laffy Taffy shirt sitting here and talking about what may or may not happen with my hair. And I look good. 
I at least wake up and take a goddamn bath, you heathen. At least I look good. I still look good. With a hat on. Listen yeah. to you. Yeah, you uh, don't want to see what's underneath that. <laughs> Maybe it should be shaven. Uh, so th- talk to me a little bit about these uh, these Hill wonderful Billy. vignettes. Hillbilly. Mankind. Wait, wait, the rat. Wait, wait. So, talk, about, talk about who was it? Oh, my God. Who was it that called somebody Hillbilly Boy? Oh, it was. Oh, yeah. It was JR. Somebody called him Hillbilly Boy. He, uh, I swear to God, he was hot for six weeks. Over Hillbilly Boy? Over Hillbilly Boy. I think Austin called him Hillbilly Boy when Steve turned heel. And JR thought that somebody fed that line to Austin. And he was bullshit for, I don't know, I think 12 years, something like that. He was bullshit. It was funny because it was 100% Steve Adlin. I am Billy Boy. Yeah. Wow. Next time when uh, you're the old hillbilly, you know, you go, hey, hillbilly boy. I don't think I'm going to do that. Why not? I live in Alabama. Yeah. Well, that would be like, you know, no, cousins. No. Yeah. Be hillbilly cousins. I don't, I don't think I have any, any kin in Oklahoma. Come and listen to a story about a man named Jim. Poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting that some food and up through the brown ground came a bubbling crude. We're going to go see Conrad in Alabama, Granny. Thought you were going to go with barbecue sauce. Well, well, that's a good one, too. Yeah. See? So they loaded up the truck and they headed to Huntsville. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna... Movie stars, podcast stars, cement ponds, mansions. What, what's wrong with you? Well, you got the goddamn big old fucking Conradison mansion. They said they could, they could, he said he could see it right when he got out of the fog of Tulsa. He could see the mansion on the mountain. Way up there. He waved at it and said, Hey, hillbilly cousin. You know, we don't have to talk about WrestleMania 12. We could just do the Bruce Pritchard one man show today. I'm fine with that. I ain't scared. I know. I'm saying. I'm just saying. It's just, hey, hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, goddamn. So I've often seen I've some often seen the king on the way. Come out of Jerry Lawler's king. 98 years old, still wrestling, still wrestling. God damn. I dropped that strap. Sometimes nowadays it seems it's hard to get the strap up over the shoulder. Hey man, shout out to the king, man. You know, he's busting his ass, getting better, and uh, you know, it's having a rough row of it right now. But if anybody could ever kick out, it's it's the king. Dude, That's he does mean. it over and over and over. I expect nothing different here. He, he does. He will outlive all of us. 